Hello friends, in this session we will discuss how to configure duplicate detection dynamic CRM Dynamics 365 application and we have to go to settings and in settings we have an option called as data management We have to go to the settings then then we have uh, data management option here in, administ in administration in system settings we have uh, data management click the data management option then we will find duplicate detection rule option Now it's taking time, just to keep patience. So here we will find duplicate detection rule. Just click this duplicate detection rules option. Then just create a new duplicate detection rule. Clicking the new button. Then here we will create a new duplicate detection rule, which will check if there is already a contact with same email address. You should not create another or another contact with same email address so this rule should check so that customers with same email name then select the record type as we, we want to check the duplicate duplicate rule on contact so we have to select the entity contact and we want to if you want to check the case sensitive you can also check out you have to check this otherwise you can keep it unchecked and you can also uh, select if you want to exclude uh, exclude um, inactive matching records if you don't want to uh, include that uh, inactive records of contact or customers then you can uh, check it or you can uncheck it according to your need so matching record types will be contact then the field should be email address in email address and it should be exact match okay that means I just want to restrict a user a customer creation if there is any customer already exist with the same email address and there is an exact match of the email address so this is how you can configure this and uh, now we will save it now, now we can publish it here until unless you publish it it will not work so publish it now we have published it now we can go to check if
so this one we have created just now and uh, the status agent is published now we'll create a new customer with a email address to check if it is validating the rule is prompting or not go to sales and go to contacts and here try to create a new contact with an email address create new So give a name and email address here. Give a name John John and let's say uh, Jim John Jim John. Then give a email address John and the red J M I E Gmail dot com. And just copy this and save it seeing that you should have a valid email address let's say john.gmail.com and save it so i created a customer record with an email address john.gmail.com now i just want to create another customer record with the same email address and let's check if the duplicate detection rule is prompting me or not now another press new button to create an the customer and here we will give a full name let's say uh, John uh, McGee and let's say done and give the email address same as the old one now once we save it the duplicate detection rule is prompting me that duplicates detected and it's saying that the email address is already exist for an existing customer that is called as john jim so this is the uh, the record which is already in the system and now we are entering this one with same email address so this is how the system prompts while creating records if you published a duplicate detection rule and if you save it then it will ignore the duplicate uh, uh, rule um, so that uh, the duplicate detection rule, uh, rule will be overridden otherwise you can cancel it and change it change it uh, the value here the setting one and save it once you change the email address and save it the system will automatically save it without uh, you know uh, without prompting the duplicate detection rule so this is how duplicate detection rule works so uh, adding some more points here you can also configure the duplicate detection rules uh, you know uh, adding some more uh, matches as I have added email address as an exact match um, and uh, keep in mind whenever the uh, duplicate detection rule is created in one environment those duplicate detection rules never go to the upstreams uh, in deployment whether we have to create the same duplicate detection rules in target environment and if any release goes to the upstream and if there is any entity uh, we are moving in the deployment uh, solution and uh, if there is any duplicate detection rule published against that entity which are going to be deployed then the duplicate detection rules automatically unpublish so always keep in mind whenever you deploy something uh, with the entity having some published duplicate detection rule then try to publish it after the deployment so this is all about duplicate detection rule that uh, how we can configure it in the system so Thank you for your patience.